guys, part two to this video. I thought we were done, but it was like Billy Mays. But wait, there's more, right? There's always more. So we were able to take apart the back, you know, this main line in the return where I suspect that it hasn't ever been cleaned before. Take a look at that. What's up, guys? Mitch here with Hyper. Should try to be a little quiet. The customer already feels kind of bad because they just had a duck cleaning back in 2022, which is just two years ago. I know a lot can happen in two years' time, but he felt like he was ripped off. Um, so he hired us to come in. And right now I'm doing an inspection. These inspections are free. You guys can call us at any given time at 314-326-0909. Call or text for your free inspection today or log on to bookhyper.com. So what I'm going to do, I got a bad feeling about this because I'm looking at the duct work here. And the first thing that I noticed is that this duct work wasn't even touched. So during the duct cleaning experience, there's no evidence that this was ever cleaned. Right? So I see like there's some patches here some poor patches at that and these are not look like they're at the NACA standard so this one looks like it was opened up but this one right here this is actually a return main line so this is going to be really bad and he's complaining that he has a lot of buildup in his return vents so we're going to go ahead and crack this bad boy open we're going to see right now what the other guys are doing in these people's homes so again this is free of cost this cost you absolutely nothing to uh, get this done. We just want to make sure that the quality is up to par. Oh, all right. So well, the first thing I notice is. When you're working with a, a NACA certified company, generally the inspector is going to also be certified in mold remediation and ventilation systems. So to clarify, that doesn't make us hygienists or scientists. That just makes us remediators. That means that we're capable of remediating mold that's commonly found in ventilation systems. As you can see right here, the back of this panel here, these, these right here look like spores to me. That looks suspect. This right here as well. This one looks suspect as well. well. We'll dig in a little deeper here. I'm going to look at these stickers. A lot of times in these electric air handlers, the stickers, if you look here, just wipe that off. I think that's mold. Now, again, I'm not a hygienist, but this looks like mold. Look at these wires here. Mold growing on the wires. Backside of the blower motor. Let's look inside this blower motor. Take a look in there. Can you see in there? That looks like mold to me. So again, I'm not a hygienist, but same thing here, right there. That looks suspect. And then right here, take a look here. See all this here? This looks like mold. I find it hard to believe that. Look here, this is really bad too. Here. That also looks like microbial growth. Uh, if you take another, another look back here, look at the bottom side of these coils here. This is absolutely horrific. Now we can obviously send this off to one of our partnering labs that we work with and get confirmation on the mold type and the species. But I'm gonna go ahead and just let the customer know that I think that you might have some microbial growth growing inside of his air handler. So this is why it's important to get these inspections. So there's a lot that can go inside, go on inside of the inside of an air handler. So we haven't even gotten into the ductwork yet. So once we crack that open, we're gonna find out more about this house. A lot of people don't understand is that they feel like crap all the time and there's a reason behind it normally a lot of our customers have just moved into a new house and that new house since they moved there they always feel sick this is a good reason why you could be feeling sick so don't hesitate to give us a call for your free hvac inspection i'm going to go ahead and grab a couple samples and take some uh, test kits and see if we can get a, a positive testing on this microbial growth and we'll present all the options to our customer today you guys have a great day, and I hope you guys choose a NACA certified company to do what's right for you. Take care. Hey, guys. Part two to this video. I thought we were done, but it was like Billy Mays. But wait, there's more, right? There's always more. So we were able to take apart the back, you know, this main line in the return where I suspect that it hasn't ever been cleaned before. Take a look at that. Stick that camera in there. Tell me if that looks like it was cleaned. I don't think so. I suspect that this computer is going up in there. So if you guys, you should always trust your 
gut instinct on some things, especially when it comes to service companies in your home. I'm not sure if you knew this or not, but we're the only company that's featured on Fox 2 News about duct cleaning scams, and this is the reason why. If you want to gamble the duct cleaning, go with the cheaper guy. If you want to get it done right, go with the companies that are recommended by Fox 2 News for air duct cleaning scams. We're reputable. We've been in business a long time. We're not going to leave your duct work like that when we're done. All right. So anyways, for real this time, we'll see you soon. Are you tired of the other guys? You know, the ones with the bait and switch tactics. Every time you want to get your ducks clean, it's time you called us. I'm Mitchell Stonebarger. I'm the founder of Hyper. Your experience means so much to me that we have a money back guarantee. So call, text, or book us online today.